What's up guys, Jake here. Today I'm going to be scuba diving in the Chattahoochee River and I'm going to be searching for items people may have lost while whitewater rafting or having a good time in the river or maybe items people may have thrown into the river to get rid of. We're actually at my garage right now. I've never showed you guys my garage. It's a little messy, but I'm going to show you guys the equipment I'm going to be using in today's video. On a side note, I have no idea how I fit this giant jet ski in my garage. I have two different scuba setups that I like to use at the river. This is my small tank and this is what I call Big Bertha. Today we're going to be using Big Bertha, but the advantage of this tank right here is that it's super lightweight, but the disadvantage is that it only gets me about 15 minutes of dive time. But Big Bertha, on the other hand, will allow me to dive down and breathe for at least an hour and a half to two hours. I'm actually gonna be able to take my time. I can look at every crack and crevice of every rock and I can see if I can come across maybe like an old rusty, you know, slime coated GoPro or maybe a wallet or phones, you know, some cool stuff like that. I also have my goggles and my camera on top so I can record my adventures and I can share what I find with you guys here on YouTube. I'm super excited to start scuba diving today because there's gonna be so much cool stuff at the bottom of the river and even yesterday when I was just holding my breath free diving, I actually came across an old iPhone. I have all my diving gear in the back of the truck and I'm just about ready to drive down to the river But before we do that, I want to thank you guys so much for five million subscribers. Here we go you guys. Here we go. Oh I'm gonna put down oh my God. I broke it. <laughs> Five million subs Wow, man, like seriously <laughs> treasure. Are you proud of me? She has no idea what's going on, but five million subscribers you guys can't believe it. Thank you guys, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate every one of you guys supporting the channel. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do the crazy stuff I get to do, and I wouldn't be able to call this my job. So seriously, you guys, I mean, I just feel super thankful, and um, it just means the world to me. Every day I get to wake up and do what I love to do, and if I won the lottery, I'd do the same thing I'm doing today, which is pretty awesome. So we just looked it up, and a full capacity football stadium is 85,000. Jake just divided it, doing math and stuff. <laughs> Dude, man. <laughs> and uh, the 65 full capacity stadiums, not a single seat missing, and everybody's cheering for the same person. That's, really That's crazy. crazy. Thank you guys, from the bottom of my heart, I love what I do, and I love to be able to upload videos on YouTube. It even looks like I may be able to hit 10 million subs one day, and that's just a goal that I never thought was feasible, and I wouldn't be able to do stuff like that without your support. Can you imagine 10 million subs? Like, that would be unreal, man. I'm super excited to get out on the river, enjoy this beautiful day, and uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find something cool.
You want to do a fishing pole? <laughs> it's not even part of one. <laughs> there you go, man. I appreciate it, man. Good luck. Okay. Put some WD 40 on that, it might be good. <laughs> Ripstick. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Did you lose a ripstick? Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? I wonder how that ended up in the river.
So I just got done skipping diving and I actually found some pretty awesome stuff today. I have everything laid out on the back of my truck. Let me show you guys some of my favorite items of the day. So I didn't find anything super valuable today, but we did come across pretty much a little bit of everything. I'm gonna start things off with my favorite item of the day, and it definitely has to be this little jewel. Funny story, the first time I actually found one of these, I had no idea what it was. I thought it was like a USB stick. I was actually with my friend Brandon at the time, and we had no idea what this was, but now I've seen so many people using these things. Let me know how you guys think this jewel ended up in a river. In my opinion, I think he was maybe whitewater rafting, and I don't think he could survive the entire day without his jewel, so he brought his jewel, and maybe he ended up losing it or something while whitewater rafting, but that's what I think happened. But let me know in the comment section below how you guys think this guy lost his jewel in the river. One of my favorite things to find in a river definitely have to be phones. This phone actually had a leech. I believe it was a leech on the back of the phone. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I've actually never seen a leech in person, and I've never seen one in a river, but I think that was a leech, if I'm correct. If you guys know for sure, let me know in the comments. Yeah, but I think I found a leech on the back of this phone when I found it. Like I said, phones are definitely one of my favorite things to find in a river. I always just wonder, like, how the person lost it. But today, yeah, we didn't come across a cool iPhone or whatever, but we found an old Cricut LG phone. This is actually a really cool find as well. On the top left, it says War on Terrorism Service Medal. On the top right, it's an eagle. And on the bottom here, it's a tomahawk. Now, I believe these are actually military medals. I have no idea why someone would throw all their medals in the river, but if you guys have an idea, again, let me know in the comment section below. Just a really cool find that I just don't find myself coming across things like this all that often. I actually came across some old pearls as well. Now, I don't think these are real. I think these are just like stage pearls, but I'm gonna hold on to them. You know, you never know. Every time I come across stuff like this, I always save it and I take it into the store to see if it's real, but I never sell anything. I'm just curious to know if it's real or not. So I'll let you guys know whether or not this is real in a future video. This is a pretty cool find as well. I actually found a Michael Kors, uh, maybe metal for a purse or something. I'm not 100% sure. When I flip it over, it's just blue on the back, but maybe just went to a purse. All the girls out there, if you guys know, let me know in the comment section. But I do think this is maybe to a purse for sure. It could be a cool necklace. I don't know. <laughs> Found a big rusted off knife. Uh, this was probably most likely for maybe cutting fish. But then again, you never know. You know, this is the river. This could be a potential murder weapon. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what this is, but I think it says Star Buzz. But maybe it's like an e-cigarette or something. I don't know. Every time I dive on the river, I always find a bunch of fishing lures, and here's some of my favorite ones of the day. I found some more fishing gear. I actually found like three or four different broken reels. Here's one. Here's another one right here, and uh, here's one right here. And what's crazy, I guarantee these probably still work. <laughs> found some nail clippers. A lot of fishermen actually use nail clippers to clip their line. Who knows? Maybe someone out there needed to clip their nails while they're whitewater rafting. <laughs> 50, 60, 65, 66. I actually found 66 cents today. I guarantee these are probably people's wishes. Over here, still in people's wishes in the river. And today, I also came across some sun glasses and some uh, I think prescription glasses. This is definitely one of the weirdest finds I've ever found. I actually found two jars duct taped with holes on top underneath the river. I opened up the first one and it looked like it had strips of maybe the same name written on it over and over but I found another one and I'm actually going to open this one up above water. Maybe we can actually figure out what this is once and for all. I was actually in Miami and I found a jar and the people down there they say like there's like a lot of voodoo stuff. I don't really believe in all that stuff to be honest with you but uh someone may have uh done something like that. Maybe it did some kind of voodoo jar. I don't know. What in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Touch my lip. That was so gross. Take the duct tape off. I'm gonna take the top off right here. Doesn't smell that bad, but there's two rocks inside. Let me pull the rocks out. It looks just like the other jar. There's some rocks inside. There's a bunch of like little pieces of paper. Each little piece of paper actually has some writing on it. Again, it looks like the same name written over and over on strips of paper. And it looks like the rocks were put in there just to weigh it down so it stayed at the bottom of the river. If you guys have an idea what this is, let me know in the comment section below, please. I'm very curious. I have no clue whatsoever, but found two of these today. There could be more out there. Definitely one of the strangest finds I've ever found, man, for sure. Oh, hey, jump a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see another scuba diving video here at the river and if the support we'll come back out here tomorrow and come back and uh, look for some more cool stuff i can't believe it though five million subs like that is just unreal and i'm so thankful and i couldn't do this without your guys support so thank you guys seriously so much but who knows maybe i can get lucky enough and break 10 million subscribers this year which would be absolutely insane man before i let you guys go i get a lot of questions asking how i record underneath the water and these are the goggles i use right here I actually just put my camera on top and it allows me to record hands free when i go and look for treasure whether i'm scuba diving or free diving so if you guys want to make underwater videos like me these are the goggles i use feel free to check them out in the description below so we got a subscriber here. What's your name, bud? Custis. Custis. Nice to meet you, man. So I found a lot of cool fishing lures today. If you want to, you can pick one out if you want and want to bring it home. You like that one? Yeah. That's a good one, bud. Thank you. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching the videos.